let's try to understand the modes of this uh, timer really so this is a 3.3 .3 power module which i'm using the red is 3.3 .3 and the brown is ground i uh, tied the ground to this terminal and the input will be used from this terminal let's first try to set p1 1.1 mode you can use these up and down buttons to set the mode so once you set set the mode to p1 1.1 set on click on set it will ask you to set the op uh, values operation cycle values so i'll use it to set it to four uh, seconds you can use this decimal uh, converter which is the stop button so if you press the needle will change uh, decimal will change to the end so this is 40 seconds or this uh, can be used to change the precision so right now i'm keeping it as uh, four seconds and once that is set you can click on the set uh, button for a while and it will start the um, timer so to be uh, safe click on the stop button it will first turn it off and then click it again to turn turn on the uh, power module and you can start the operations now so let's see let's try to trigger the input so it will wait for uh, four seconds and then turn on the relay, turn off the relay and any trigger in between so let's try to trigger it again any trigger will not affect and the relay will continue to be on until four seconds and any trigger afterwards will again initiate the uh, cycle and it will turn off so turn on so this is the um, module for uh, p1.1 now let's try to uh, uh, set the relay into p1 1.2 so i'm going to uh, p1.2 in the operation cycle uh, to be five sec uh, let's try to keep it five seconds five seconds and then set it set set it up so i'm going to turn off and then turn on the relay again let's try to see p1.2 in action so i'm trying to trigger the relay it turned on the relay after three seconds i am again triggering so it's reclocking as you can see it's resetting back to zero until uh, i gave it complete five seconds to uh, complete the cycle and then turn off you can see um, reclocking upon trigger now let's try to see the p1.3 <coughs> mode so i'm going to 3 1.3 mode using up button to increase the mode and then click on set now it will ask to set the op values so i'm setting it to six seconds six seconds now uh, let's try to trigger the signal and uh, any re-trigger re would actually uh, turn off the relay on and before six seconds would complete and turning off the relay if you leave it uh, after a trigger without anything after six seconds the uh, cycle will complete and the trigger will, will be off but any retrigger in between will turn off the relay so this is p1.3 uh, mode now let's try to uh, see p2 mode so i'm going to p2 mode so in this mode you will be asked to set the op values so i'm going to set it to five seconds and then uh, you'll be asked to set the cl value so i'm going to set it uh, to two seconds So in this P2 mode, whenever there is a trigger, it waits for uh, CL value, which is two seconds, and then turns on the relay for OP seconds. So in this, if you see, it waited for two seconds and then turned on the relay for the next uh, five seconds, and then turn it off. So this is uh, this is how the P2 mode works. And any it doesn't matter what happens in in, in between the there is a trigger, nothing will happen. It's considered invalid. But it will when I want trigger, it will wait for CL time and then start. Uh, the actual trigger relay that's why it is called uh, delayed relay mode so this is p2 mode let's try to see p3.1 mode so in this mode first we'll try to set the mode in in, in op we'll set it to uh, five seconds and clear uh, cl mode we'll uh, set it to two seconds and it has an additional lop mode which is the number of cycles so we'll keep the cycles to be uh, one or two so two cycles for now and then click on set so what happens is when you trigger the signal it will uh, on for op seconds and then wait for cl seconds and the number of cycles will repeat itself so if you can see uh, it the release of uh, in operation for five seconds and then uh, the uh, delay whichever cl time we can configure it will be off for that way and uh, how many times we have configured two times so it continued in cycle for two seconds so let's try to see this once again so it relays on for five seconds and then went to off for two seconds and then the cycle repeats any trigger in between will turn off the relay completely so this is uh, this p3.1 mode now let's try to see p3.2 mode 
in this uh, there is no need for in, uh, trigger input so let's try to see 3p 3.2 so 3.2 mode set set the operations to be uh, 4 seconds let's say 4 seconds 4 seconds on and then uh, cl let's let's keep it uh, 3 seconds 3 seconds of and lop let's uh, keep it uh, so the default value if you're not giving anything is infinite so let's keep it like that and then try to set it so it started the clock and it says no no trigger input is needed it turned off on and off uh, so whatever values you have configured it will, it's going to be in that loop forever let's try to see p4 mode now so let's go to p4 set the op values to 5 and then in the p4 mode there is space to trigger this is clocking up so when you trigger again it's it's still clocking uh, so any trigger in between will reclock will restart the timer and once the timer expires in this case for 5 seconds so it remains connected until the trigger is there so whenever there is a trigger it can the relay will still be on until uh, uh, op seconds so this mode is also called signal holding uh, mode so if it, there is a uh, trigger signal, timing will be reset in between if you are doing it or else it will stay alive for OP time.